Okay, so as promised, the Strine Special Edition, <clears throat> Strine Divine, kind of wasn't really. So what is this Strine's Challenge, you know, or as it's commonly known through the Cycle Club, hashtag, let's see if I can get this right, <clears throat> yeah, hashtag BS GTS, yes, so Big Shinizzle's Guide to Strine's Shinizzle can think of an expletive to go with that. You know, I'm going to keep this moderated. Then, then that's what it's all about, really. So, what was a challenge, you ask? Well, let me tell you, it was brutal. It was, it was heavy going. It was hilly. Yeah, may as well go up Mount Everest to be honest. Seventy k, two and a half thousand meters. Yeah, I'll. Just give you a moment. Give you a moment for that to sink in. Yeah. There we are. Absolutely no idea what I'm going to say next. So that was a great pause. So, so yeah, it got moved forward because of the weather. Good old British weather, you know, you can never really rely on it. So it got moved early, which meant that I could do it, actually. I was really, really, really looking forward to it to see what I've got, see what I've got in the engine, see if I could mix it up with the Cycle Club on an air ride, you know, as a as a triathlete, triantelope, you know. Kind of really, really wanted to, to throw myself in the mix, to be honest. Uh, so that was so that was my motivation. Uh, I just really, really wanted to give the Triathlon Club a really, really, really strong showing. And um, I don't really know if I did that, to be honest. It was an absolutely no fit shape to do it. After basically having to stop swimming after 20 minutes the day before, then getting about seven and a half hours sleep, I was still pretty tired on the Tuesday, and it was going to be a rest day. But then the magical Facebook post came on, I was like... Okay, I'm doing that. Luckily, post came on before lunchtime. Could stock up on Orange Fizzy Lucasade. If you don't like Orange Fizzy Lucasade, then you're missing out on an absolute treat, to be honest. And if you've never tried it, then I recommend it. It's just sweet goodness, really. Glucose as well, so it gets into your bl bloodstream really quickly, and that's exactly what you want as a triathlete. So, so there I was in my local co-op. You know, stocking up on a bit of ibuprofen, um, some some Lucasade. What else did I buy? I don't remember now. Oh yeah, I bought some fruit as well. Just really, just just fancy some mixed fruit, and it was an offer. You know, one pound forty nine. Happy days. There we are. So I was raring to go. I'm pretty sure I bought yes, bought some Jaffa cakes as well. So tucked into twelve Jaffa cakes during the afternoon. You know, Sp spreaded it out. So hopefully, you know. Got those carbs there. Speaking like I know what I'm on about here. Just basically just just eating really. Because I was cause I was hungry. Um, so so yeah, that was good. Uh, nice sandwich as well. Pre-bought sandwich from from Boots. It was on offer. It's only a quid for a triple. Quid for a triple. You know, can't really go wrong, can you? You know, tucked into that. It was yeah, it was a chicken triple. I hear you ask. Yeah. It knows him on it. Bit of chicken and bacon, chicken and stuffing, and chicken salad. Dece. Yeah. So, fueled, ready to go. Um, the legs were quite heavy. Um, knew it was going to be a push whether I could actually start at five. Uh, they were starting at five, they were setting off at five, so I was working. So, I met them late. Uh, didn't read the map properly, did I? So that was my first fail. Really, should should read the map because then you can catch them up um, instead of going in the wrong direction, doing a bit of an extra climb. Um, and I took the first part of the race very, very, very quickly, to be honest. You know, a couple of steep climbs and then basically I had absolutely no idea where I was, but I thought, it's absolutely glorious, you know. I mean, wish I had some pictures here with me. Could have really just bought some placards across or... Put them on my phone, really, couldn't I? But it's just me, unfortunately. You're going to have to, to deal with that beige wall there and some beige guy speaking, I guess, you know? So, sorry about that. I work on my cues in future, <clears throat> you know, not to be com confused with snooker or pool. That was my cue action there. Ronnie O'Sullivan in the making, eh? You know? Yeah, chalk that tip. Yeah, maybe one day, 
maybe one day I'll take that crown away from Ronnie, but, but at the moment, cycling, yeah, so there I was, strines getting lost, uh, luckily I really wanted to do um, this really steep climb, uh, I managed to do it, 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 it really, really, really bloody hurt, to be honest, uh, it was about the fifth climb I went up, uh, there was another 14 to go in this epic 2570 k adventure. Uh, mine was 2200 by the way, I was 300 meters short but I'm not really going to complain too much. Um, so luckily I managed to bump into one of the cyclists who was also running a little bit late, better cyclist than me. Uh, but he stayed with me, so top lad Chris Bevan, thanks for that. Uh, so there we were, uh, we we're going down, um, I can't remember the name of it now, uh, I want to call it Defiance, Deference, Deliverance, there we are, third time, pull it right out of the hat. Houdini, you've got nothing on me, sunshine. <clears throat> um, but, but then, yeah, then that happened, doesn't look pretty. Could have been a lot worse though, I guess. I was descending and I was wondering why the, the mighty Chris Bevan was behind me. I think that's what I did a couple of times as well. Glanced over the right shoulder. Mill up the left shoulder to you. Just flip that image round. Looked over the right shoulder. Um, descending, I thought, yeah, I thought I was going alright to be honest. I don't really descend that quickly. I'm not one of the quickest descenders, but I didn't realise there was a kind of hairpin bend or a corner that really, really tightened up. I was in two minds, they cut the corner a little bit, I could see ahead of me, but I knew going at that speed it would have been pretty dangerous, so I decided to take it a little bit wider, um, I, thought, I thought sugar, sugar, word, see, keeping it moderated, like my promise at the beginning, like my pledge, um, so yeah, I was turning the bike, I knew I had to yank it a little bit further, nearly managed to heroically like, keep keep it upright actually but a bit of gravel just slipped so I had to elegantly decant on the bike it may not look elegant but kind of knew I was going to come off so so thank you Trevor for try try training harder I knew you didn't teach me to fall off the bike uh, but you know um, I think your bike tips really really kind of helped in that situation um, bit of a bruised hip bit of a sore hip elbow like I say but you know carried on unfortunately the bike was okay so yeah and then shortly after I uh, saw the rest of the uh, we saw the rest of the cycle clubs so there we were on 14 more grueling climbs you know um, I think we went up uh, one of the steepest climbs three times really it was just just a loop the loop of, of brutality really that was that was that was tough tough going you know some of those guys are were magicians up the climbs to be honest. I think that would have sorted anyone out. Bradley Wiggins, Chris Froome, anyone to be honest. That that was that was serious climbing, you know, you had between sort of six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen percent climbs, you know, I mean I think one of them was about a kilometre at nearly thirteen percent. Uh you know, you're on some for some serious elevation there, you know, with and 33, 33% 33, uh, gradient in places, so, uh, yeah, that gives you an example of uh, what we were up against, uh, but it was enjoyable, I wanted to crap the last one, but I couldn't give in, to give you a bit of a insight into my mindset, you know, it's like 50k in, I did 80 in the end, was kind of had to go all, uh, from the main ride as well, so, could have easily thrown in the towel and done myself justice, but I thought, no, 30k to go, you're here now, do it. No matter how much it hurts, you're going to do it. So, put myself through the absolute mill. I really honestly wanted to cry. I could hardly, I could hardly move the bike and wanted to stop on the last three climbs, but kept on going. I've never been in the lowest gear so much. I hardly ever go into the lowest gear. I've got three on the front, rest on the back. Uh, Hardly ever go into the lowest front gear, but constantly had to do it. And you know, the boys, sorry again, you had to keep wasting for me, but I just couldn't give in. I kind of had to try and do triathlon justice myself, justice. So, thanks for that. Um, yeah, so that's Liam's guide to strines. Um, on 
on this blog. Uh, tales of a triantelope, uh, you know. Um, maybe, maybe we are triantelopes after that, but hopefully I'll get to do it again soon and kind of prove what I've got to do. So yeah, amazing day. Cheers, boys, again, and uh, thank you.